Amen. Revelation 4.11 says, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive honor, glory, and power. For Thou hast created all things. Come on. Glory to God. For your pleasure they are and were created. Look at somebody beside you. You've got to turn your neck to do it and tell them, say, you were made by God for God. Hallelujah. When you realize you were designed for him, come on, somebody. Then you can really understand what you're destined to do. Praise God. It all starts when you know him. Come on, somebody. Psalms 111 and verse 10 said, The beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. And a good understanding have all they that do his commandments. Praise God. If you want to understand God and understand what it is he wants you to do, hallelujah, reverence him. Stand in awe of him and sin not, Psalms 4 and 4. Amen. To fear him means to fall in love with him. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Seek him. Amen. And when you do, when you obey his commandments, his written word, praise God, then he grants understanding. Amen. You don't have to try to figure it all out. Praise God. If you'll just seek him, what you need will seek you. Amen. Praise God. Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and all these other things shall be added unto you. He said, you shall seek me and you'll find me when you've searched for me with all your heart. Jeremiah 29 and verses 13. And in verse 14, he said, I'll be found of you and I'll turn your captivity. A lot of times we're trying to get God to turn something around trying to fix something but God says forget about what needs to be fixed you seek me you come after me and what you need will come after you come on somebody hallelujah Psalms 23 and 1 David said the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want one little young girl in Sunday school reciting that scripture one morning told the teacher I know Psalms 23 and 1 can I recite it teacher she said go ahead baby she said the Lord's my shepherd and he's all I want Come on, somebody. <laughs> Amen. When he's all you want, come on. And sheep don't lead the shepherd, they follow him. Come on, I'm talking about the good shepherd that laid down his life for his sheep. Hallelujah, John 10 and verses 11. Somebody shout, he's talking about Jesus. Hallelujah. When you follow him, when you follow the shepherd and you seek him, somebody say, you shall not won't. And by verses 6, that chapter concludes. It's only got six verses. In Psalms 23 and verses 6, David concludes saying, Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. David said, He's my shepherd. I'm after him. Like that little girl, he's all I want. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm seeking him. I'm pursuing him. I'm after him. Hallelujah. And by the end of that chapter, glory to God, what he needs is after him. Look at your neighbor and say, if you'll pursue the shepherd, if you'll put him out in front, if you'll let him be your focus, if you'll let him be your purpose for breathing and living, and let him be exalted in every area and facet of your life, somebody shout, goodness and mercy will find where you live. Come on, God ain't got to Google your address. He ain't got to Google your name to find where you're at. He don't need a GPS. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I promise you, he knows where you're at. The Bible said in Psalms 139 and 1, the Lord, hallelujah, has searched me and he knows me. He knows when I get up and he knows when I sit down. He knows when I'm up and he knows when I'm down. He understands my thoughts are far off. You can't hide nothing from him. Psalms 139 and verses 12 said, even the dark and the light are alive like to him the darkest night is like high noon to God and though sometimes you can't see him you can't figure where he is because David or excuse me Job said in Job 23 and 3 he said if I could find his throne if I knew where it was I'd go to it Job was in such a dire place hallelujah but in verses 10 he said he knows the ways I take Come on, church. He knows the ways I take. And when he has tried me, when the test is over, praise God, I'll come forth as gold. In other words, Job said, the darkness is hiding God from me, but it don't hide me from God. He's got his eye on me. He can see me. He searches me, and he knows me. Uh, hallelujah. Somebody shout, my future's in his hands. Look at your neighbor. Tell him, say, you ain't in good hands with all state, but you are with the Almighty. You ought to just commit the rest of your days to him. You ought to just commit the rest of your life to him. Just surrender it all to him. Come on, somebody. Look at your neighbor say, my future's got a name. Jesus. Yeah, Hallelujah. He declares the end from the beginning. Isaiah 46 and 10. Look at your neighbor say, he already knows the end of your life. Come on. 
He knows the beginning. He knows the end because he is the beginning and the end. He's Alpha Omega. Come on, somebody. Revelation 22, 13. Look at somebody beside you and tell them, say, if you ain't shouted at least 15 times by now, hurry and catch up, man. Catch up. Catch up. You, you, you running way behind. Hallelujah. Man, I feel, I feel, I feel church in the room. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God, I thank you tonight for victory. Lord, I know where it's at. It's in you. It's always in you. It's victory in Jesus. It ain't victory around him. It ain't just victory about him. It ain't victory even behind him. It's in him. For you said in 1 Corinthians 15 and 57, thanks be unto God who gives us the victory through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You are our victory. Hallelujah. And if we're yours and you in us, and we in you, Christ in me, the hope of glory, Colossians 1, That therefore means I'm walking victory, waiting to manifest, just waiting to happen anywhere I go. Thank you, Lord God. We're not the victim of any adversary, any devil. Hallelujah. Any roaring lion. Holy Ghost, we are victors in the name of Jesus, the living Christ. For you said in Acts 13 and 30, and God hath raised him from the dead. We don't serve Buddha. We don't serve our we don't serve some God who's just captured Lord God on some uh, painter's uh, uh, painting Father God uh, kept uh, in a plaque uh, in stone God in some man's museum somewhere hallelujah we serve the one that they buried after they crucified him and he come out of the grave three days later physically bodily through the power of the anointing of the Holy Ghost Romans 8 and 11 and he's coming again I thank you Lord God as David said in Psalm 42 and 2. Lord God he said my soul thirsted for the living God. You are the living God. You're still alive. A dead God can't hear me when I pray but Jesus lives. A dead God can't heal me when I'm sick but Jesus lives. A dead God can't help me when I need help but Jesus lives. The righteous cry and the Lord hears them and delivers them out of all their trouble. Psalms 34 and 17 and I thank you tonight God you not only hear us. Hallelujah but you see us and you're involved in the lives of those who surrender their everything to you we were made by you for you here we are tonight can you just do that lift your hands and say lord here am i here am i isaiah 6 and 8 that's what isaiah said he just said here am i here am i send me god do whatever you want to I, i'm yours i'm available to you lord jesus hallelujah glory to your holy name here we are jesus tonight we commit our spirit into your hands psalms 31 hallelujah in verses 5 we commit our soul we lift it up unto you who dwells in the heavens psalms 25 and 1 we present our bodies now unto you as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable to God which are reasonable service Romans 12 and verses 1 God I give you glory tonight we give ourselves to you we give ourselves away we give it up Holy Spirit take us divinely dispose of us use us tonight for your glory for your credit for your praise hallelujah for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever all me in Matthew 6 and verse 13